Hey guys, today what we're going to be doing is day three of our Iris Scott project, our shaking dog, and today we're going to be starting the messy part of it. So the last time you were in here, you were painting your dog, it should have been gone over waxy waxy with black crayon, and then you painted it however you wanted. Um, what we're going to do today before you cut it out, if you need to go back over those black lines to reinforce those so they're nice and dark, you can do that first. And then we're going to cut the dog out. Okay, so you're freeing it from the shape. So you should have this. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your black piece of paper and you're gonna be mounting your dog to the bottom of this piece of paper in a horizontal orientation. Now, before you do this, you might wanna grab a white colored pencil and write your name and section on the back. Really quick. Okay, so name on the back and then also put your section. Um, we're going to use glue stick today. You're going to be putting the glue on the back of the dog, not on the black paper. You always put the glue on the smaller shape. So I'm going to put lots of glue on the back of my dog. I'm going to stick it to the front of my black paper, making sure that the edge of it touches the bottom. And instead of rubbing across the front of it with this tempera paint, what we're going to do is we're actually going to flip it on the back and give it a good rub on the table. So you're massaging the back of the paper so that your dog is nice and stuck, okay? So that's the next step of this before we do the splatter paint. Now, I only have one splatter paint station. It's inside this box. You'll wanna make sure you wear an apron to cover your shirt. If you have a jacket, take it off. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our paper on a placemat and we're gonna slide it into the splatter booth. The next thing you're gonna do is I've got lots of different colors of blue paint for you to choose from. You're only gonna stay here at the station with this messy paint. It's watered down, so it's gonna be easier to splatter. You're gonna put a brush inside of this paint. You wanna come a little closer? And you're gonna splatter anywhere you want on the dog, on the blue paper. And it is gonna get a little bit on your dog, so if you're nervous, try to stay towards the edges. And then I want you to change colors. We're using different values of blue. So we have a medium blue, we have a dark blue, and then I've got one that's got a little bit of white in it. So you're gonna drip it, you're gonna hit it with your finger to make those splatter marks. You can use a little bit, you can use a lot, it's up to you. Now, after you get a couple of these colors on here, I'm gonna do a little bit of lighter blue. You want it to look random. You don't wanna have like little polka dots or anything. You're gonna put the brush in the water bucket you're gonna slide your painting out, and then you can come over here and use the paint that's on the plate to add a couple of our um, bigger water drops. Now remember, Iris Scott does finger painting, so you're just gonna dip your fingers in. If you're nervous about getting your hands dirty, you can use a paintbrush. And you're gonna put some larger pieces of water throughout the work, just so you've got some small, medium, and some large. Don't forget to overlap your dog in some spaces with those colors. Okay, so once you get your painting finished up, you should have blue on the dog, off the dog, and a bunch of different colors of blue. You're gonna go ahead and leave it on your placemat, and you're gonna slide this onto the drying rack. Make sure you wash your hands before you touch anything else after sliding this on the drying rack. All right, that's it.